Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your Roblox GFXs even more realistic with PBR textures. So PBR textures is pretty much just like a pack of different images that judge which values should be set to what and how they should be and where they should be and whatever. It's just it's a really useful feature and it's available for really any 3D software and they're really useful so I do recommend them. So let me show you how to use them. So we need to do a one-time process where we need to actually um, enable the Node Wrangler add-on. So edit preferences, go to the add-ons and search up Node Wrangler and make sure that's enabled. And after you've checked that and Blender has a thing, uh, we can start. So visit Polyhaven right here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the textures part because that's where we find all the textures. And through here we can find different textures to download and stuff like that. So let's try laminate floor. This one looks nice. I'm just going to set the resolution to 4K. Now um, what you set your resolution to is really whatever. It, it just depends on how much you show the objects really. Um, 4K is what I would recommend in general, 2K is really last resort to me, and 1K is a joke, because 1K looks really, really bad, I've tried that before. And then 8K is if you've got a good amount of storage available and you've got a good PC to work with. So I'm going to use 4K, even though I've got a good laptop here, a really good laptop, I'm just going to use 4K since it's completely unneeded to use 8K. So I'm just going to download that. Alright, so it's finished downloading. What you want to do is you want to extract the zip that you've got. So right here in extract, I'm just going to click extract all right here in the file explorer. Extract. And there we are. In Blender right here, what we're going to do is we're going to start actually setting up the texture. So click on your object. I've got a sphere right here. I'm going to move up the timeline. And in the timeline right here, you want to create, you want to like change this to shaded. So by clicking on the timeline icon, shader editor. Create a new material for it. And make sure the object is selected. And uh, I'm just going to zoom in right here. So we have a principal BSDF node and a material output. To move around this shade editor, just hold down on the middle mouse and drag and there you go. To select the node, left click and right click for options. So all we're going to need to do here is either press Control shift t or we could go right here to the node wrangler tab right here by pressing N, it should show up, and just pressing add principled setup when we're selecting the principal BSDF. Find the folder where you downloaded the textures and right here in textures I'm just going to uh, go to that textures folder right here and here we can just select all the textures and press principal texture setup wait a bit because blender will need to have a think to process all the textures and it's done and you can see we have a material right here it's very nice and realistic um i can even go into like cycles really quickly and i can set something up like i could even go into the world and add an hdri if i wanted so as you can see we have a very nice looking sphere the it only shines on some parts which is also very nice so um yeah that's how you use pbr textures as you can see they are very very useful and i hope this helped you to make your gfx's more and more realistic and spectacular thank you for watching i will see you next time bye